welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be studying photorespiration and the C4 pathway as the second video of photosynthesis. Just a quick reminder, I'm going to be starting 2022 advanced level group class and the 2021 advanced level speed revision plus the paper class on this January. If you are interested in joining, you can drop a message to this WhatsApp number. All the details are in the description below. Let's begin. As we talked about in the previous video, in C3 plants in Calvin cycle, we know the carbon dioxide acceptor is RUBP, ribulose bisphosphate. And we know the enzyme that catalyzes this carboxylation reaction is RUBP carboxylase oxygenase, or we call it Rubisco. As the name suggests, this enzyme can act either as a carboxylase, which catalyzes the carboxylation reaction, or it can act as an oxygenase, which, ca which catalyzes the oxygenase reaction. So carbon dioxide and oxygen are both competitive substrates for this enzyme. They both act on the same active site of this enzyme. So if the carbon dioxide concentration in the leaf is higher than the oxygen concentration, what happens is RUBP joins with carbon dioxide catalyzed by RUBP carboxylase and we get two molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate. This is actually the first table product that is formed in the Calvin cycle. Before this product is formed, as we discussed in the previous video, an unstable carbon-6 molecule is formed, then it breaks down into two molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate. Imagine if the oxygen concentration in the leaf is higher than the carbon dioxide concentration. Then what happens? Then RUBP goes and binds with oxygen because there is more oxygen inside the leaf than carbon dioxide. So oxygen goes and binds to RUBP. And this enzyme, this reaction is catalyzed by RUBP oxygen. The same enzyme that can act either as a carboxylase or as an oxygenase. If this reaction occurs, then only one molecule of 3-phosphoglycerate will be formed. One molecule of 3-PGA. And 2-phosphoglycolate is formed. This substance called 2-phosphoglycolate is toxic to the leaf, toxic to the plant in higher concentrations. Therefore, this needs to be metabolized in a different pathway. This needs to be removed from the plant. So, this pathway of removing 2-phosphoglycolate, we call it as photorespiration. In photorespiration, there are some organelles which are involved. They are the chloroplast, mitochondria and peroxisomes. This photorespiration results in a net loss of carbon because carbon dioxide is released in photorespiration pathway. And also, it is an energy consuming process, energy demanding process. Therefore, if photorespiration occurs in a plant, carbon dioxide would be lost, energy would be lost, and as you can see, the net product of photosynthesis would be 50% less. If RUBP went and reacted with carbon dioxide, we would get two molecules of 3PGA, 3-phosphoglycerate. Three but if it reacts with oxygen, we only get one molecule of 3-phosphoglycerate. Therefore, a total 
reduction of productivity in photosynthesis occurs due to photorespiration. If we imagine a bright sunny day, in a leaf the stomata would be half closed to conserve water. We know stomata are special modified epidermal cells that can be found on the epidermis. They regulate gas exchange in a leaf. So stomata would be half closed to minimize transpiration. Therefore, due to this half closed stomata, the carbon dioxide concentration in the leaf would be low. And we know as photosynthesis is taking place in the light reaction, oxygen is released in photosystem 1. Therefore, oxygen concentration in the leaf would be more than the carbon dioxide concentration. Therefore, RUBP binds with oxygen and it forms one molecule of 3PGA and one molecule of 2-phosphoglycolate and it's le it leads to the photorespiratory pathway. In the evolution of plants, to minimize this photorespiration, an adaptation was formed. A specific pathway was created in the evolutionary process to minimize photorespiration and to increase the productivity of photosynthesis. We call that pathway as the C4 pathway. Now we'll take a look at the C4 pathway. C4 plants are the plants in which the first stable compound of photosynthesis is a 4-carbon product. In the C4 pathway, the carbon dioxide concentration mechanism is divided between two specialized cells. We call them one of those cells as mesophyll cells, the other cell type is bundle sheet cells. These mesophyll cells and bundle sheet cells are in close contact to each other. They are interconnected by plasmodesmata. We know plasmodesmata are the cell junctions that can be found in the plants. In C4 plants, these two types of cells are organized in the leaf in a special way. We call it the Kranz anatomy. There, the vascular bundle is enclosed by bundle sheet cells. These are the bundle sheet cells. Then this whole structure, the bundle sheet cells and the vascular bundle is enclosed by mesophyll cells. Now this organization we call Kranz anatomy. Because of the carbon dioxide concentration mechanism in C4 plants, even when the stomata are half closed, these C4 plants can undergo photosynthesis effectively and minimize photorespiration. In C4 plants, in mesophyll cells, there's an enzyme called carbonic anhydrase. Carbon dioxide in the mesophyll cells reacts with water and forms bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. The carbon dioxide acceptor in mesophyll cells in C4 plants is not RUBP. It is a compound called phosphoenol pyruvate. We call it PEP here. This carbon dioxide acceptor reacts with the bicarbonate formed here. This bicarbonate is here. PEP reacts with bicarbonate and forms the first table product of C4 photosynthesis. We call it oxaloacetic acid, OAA. So the reaction is bicarbonate with phosphoenol pyruvate or PEP forms oxaloacetic acid. This oxaloacetic acid is a 4-carbon product. It is the first table product in C4 plants. This reaction is catalyzed by the carbon dioxide fixing enzyme that can be found in the mesophyll cells. It is not Rubisco. It is 
PEP carboxylase. So this reaction is catalyzed by PEP carboxylase. This PEP carboxylase enzyme is much more efficient than Rubis coenzyme due to two reasons. First one is it reacts with bicarbonate ions and not carbon dioxide. The advantage of that is bicarbonate is 50 times more soluble in the cytoplasm of mesophyll cells than carbon dioxide. We know bicarbonate is an ion so it is much more soluble in water and carbon dioxide is not. And the second reason is PEP carboxylase does not react with oxygen like Rubisco. We know Rubisco reacts with oxygen and it leads to the photorespiration. But PEP carboxylase does not react with oxygen. Due to those two reasons, PEP carboxylase is much more efficient than Rubisco. In the mesophyll cells, the produced oxaloacetic acid, that is the first table product, it turns into malate. And this malate diffuses into the bundle sheet cells through the plasma desmata that connects these two types of cells. There, malate goes to the bundle sheet cells and it releases carbon dioxide and it turns into pyruvate. This released carbon dioxide in the bundle sheet cell is fixed by Rubisco or RUBP carboxylase oxygenase enzyme. After fixing carbon dioxide, the Calvin cycle occurs in the bundle sheet cell, ultimately producing sugar or C6 carbohydrate. Due to this carbon dioxide concentrating mechanism, of fixing carbon dioxide first in mesophyll cells, then carrying it through malate into bundle sheet cells and releasing here, there is a very high carbon dioxide concentration in bundle sheet cells of C4 plants. Therefore, Rubis coenzyme here can function more efficiently because there is a higher carbon dioxide concentration in bundle sheet cells. So, the efficiency of photosynthesis the efficiency of production of C6 carbon is very much higher in C4 plants. And the pyruvate in bundle sheet cell diffuses back into the mesophyll cells and it turns into PEP. And this cycle repeats. So this is the C4 pathway. What it does is it mainly concentrates carbon dioxide more in the bundle sheet cell so in the presence of Rubisco Calvin cycle can function more efficiently resulting in a higher production higher productivity of photosynthesis now we have come to the end of the video series on photosynthesis if you are interested in joining my 2022 advanced level group class or the 2021 speed revision plus the paper class you can drop a message to the below WhatsApp number. See you on the next video on the past paper discussion on photosynthesis. Thank you.